All right, we got two shows to talk about here, starting with the Dynamite show, which had some fantastic pro wrestling on it. It was a great, 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 great main event. Great crowd, great matches, great opener, fantastic main event. Fantastic main event. Like, which which you think is better, that match or the match with the Briscoes? I'd have to watch them both again. I mean, I would. I, my gut would tell me the the match with the Briscoes, but I think, I think the match with the Briscoes was the better of the two. I mean, are, this was such a great match, such a great match, such a great match. I mean, I would actually say that I enjoyed the Briscoes match more because it was different. It was it was more of a throwback. It was more of a fight. It was more of you know we're not here to perform. We're here to. You know, we're having a tag team wrestling match. We Two teams that hate each other, they're going to go out there, they're going to beat each other's ass, find out who the best team is, two teams that hate each other. A different vibe with the Young Bucks match. I mean, the match was just absolutely, I mean, it was a phenomenal match, but, you know, the, the Bucks match, I guess I would say, is what I would have expected, and the Briscoes match was more than I expected. Well, yeah, you go in there, I mean, the first time the Young Bucks wrestled FTR... Um, it was one of the best tag team matches ever held in the United States. So you, that pretty much puts your expectations high. And the thing I was watching, I was going like this. You know, at first, it's like, you know, how between that Briscoe's match and the previous match, it's like they got to live up to a really high standard. But when it was over, it was like, this match is freaking phenomenal. I mean, it was, this is one of the better, I mean, it's easily the second best tag team, if not the best tag team match of the year. And among the best of the last 10 years, I would not say, I mean, to me, the best tag matches of the last, you know, couple years would be Young Bucks against uh, Pentagon and Phoenix, the cage match in Chicago. Um, the latter match with Young Bucks and Pentagon and Phoenix was also completely off the charts. And then the best to me was the Young Bucks against Omega and Page. That match was just completely different level. But these matches the match last week and this match here it's right underneath you know it's like right underneath this is these are among the best tag matches of the last 10 15 years in the united states maybe even in the entire world uh but yeah i mean um i mean i would you know this this match i wouldn't like it's it's uh it's a phenom phenomenal phenomenal match one of the best Easily one of the best TV matches in the history of the promotion. I mean, top, count them on one hand, or, you know, we're, we're pretty close, uh, certainly on two, since this promotion started as far as a TV match goes. Just awesome. And then, yeah, the main event, what the hell can you say about it? FTR versus the Young Bucks. This match was fantastic. And... Uh, there were there were dueling chants early. I mean, there were chants for the Young Bucks, even though, you know, it was very clear FTR is the baby faces now. They've turned full baby face. Bucks are still heels. But I guess, you know, with the hangman thing, maybe people see this as a... Uh, it's just Boston. Know, they're waffling. It's, it's, it's ba number one, it's Boston. Boston always cheers heels. And the other one is, is that... You know, it's AW fans. They're going to cheer who they want. I mean, they were doing the... You know, yeah, at the beginning, it was all dueling chants. And then as the match went on, they definitely went for FTR because they worked as the baby faces. And I think that right now, you know, probably when it comes to, you know, the fans that had seen that match, uh, you know, with the Briscoes and everything, FTR is kind of over finally. I would say, I shouldn't say finally, but I think. They're, no, they're, they're definitely over. over. They're over as baby Holy faces. Holy smokes, they were over on this show. Yeah, yeah. They were over, they're over as baby faces and, uh, you know. Um, hey, you know the people that say that, ah, oh, just a bunch of flips. Watch this match, especially like the first third of this match where they did nothing but old school pro look, wrestling. Look, look, look. And I it mean, was I, I, awesome. I, I, okay, here's, here's the thing. Anyone who says that about the Young Bucks can't watch their matches because it's like you could certainly say that five years ago. Um, and even then... You know, I mean, they were always, they always had stories to their matches, um, always. But, you know, it's like they can do any, like, the, here's the one thing with them is, is they can do any style and work with anyone. I mean, more than any team that, I mean, I don't want to say I've ever seen, but way up there in the sense that um, they can go to Mexico, you know, they can go to Japan, um, they can work, you know, you, you you know whatever style the opponents are they have the ability to have the best match 
that that team can have. And I mean, I saw that in, you know, PWG over and over again. I'd watch these teams that were good and I'd go, oh my God, you guys are great. And it's like, those guys laid out the match and those guys are amazing. And it's, I mean, I heard that over and over again from, from, you know, some of the better teams that are out there. And, you know, I mean, if you ever talk to the, you know, the peers, you know, like, that's the thing that's like so funny with the, with the young bucks is you talk to the guys who wrestled them and, you know, they are going to tell you that these guys are just incredible. I remember years ago when the first, when it was, I think they did the first Matt, the first Hardys versus Young Bucks match. I don't remember if it was in Chile or wherever it was, right? I, I think it was actually in the United States. The Chile one was probably like way down, you know, like, like maybe the third or fourth time that they worked. But Matt Hardy contacted me and was just like, don't let anyone tell you anything different about these guys. These guys are fantastic. And I think he had probably kind of maybe been, oh, you know, they're just flips and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like that that kind of like thing that people say when you're not in the ring with them and you don't know. And it's kind of like, you know, whatever. But, yeah, look, they've had a million great matches. They've had a million great matches that are with storytelling, some of the best storytelling tag matches. And this was another one of them. They had, um, you know. I mean, it was just a super pro wrestling match. When they the kicked better. out of everything, they hit each other's finishers on each other. There was a big rig by the Young Bucks. There was a uh, BTE trigger by uh, FTR. FTR. But but here, here here's the thing too. Okay, everything looked good. You know what I mean? It's like it's one thing. Look, I could lay out. You and I could lay out a match. But it wouldn't, it, it, you know what I mean? But if you, and for other guys, but it wouldn't necessarily look good if you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like this match, what, what made the match, it wasn't just the, it wasn't the moves, although the moves were great, but the fact that everything looked so good. And of course, the crowd was very into it, uh, because they do, they did see it as like a big, big time, uh, tag match. And you know, I mean, maybe they are the two best tag teams in the world right now. I mean, it's like, uh, um, you know, I mean, you could absolutely make that case, especially this week. You can really make that case, but, um, you know, so it's like, yeah, that just, it was, you know, yeah, I mean, just. Bucks great. kept trying to cheat. We had a low blow. We had a belt shot. We had pulling the tights. FTR just kept kicking out everything or having it broken up. And uh, finally, the Bucks were going for the Meltzer driver. Dax broke it up. They hit a uh, powerbomb tombstone combination. They hit the BT trigger of their own. They kissed the Young Bucks. They hit the big rig, and they got the pin. This match was awesome. Don't know what else to say about it, but go watch it. Now, everybody. And the match with the uh, Briscoes. Like, if you're a fan of tag team wrestling, have I got the weekend for you? Oh, yeah. This one here. They're the two best tag team matches in the, of the year, I think. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.